Canadian lake water to thirsty residents here. Yeah, I hear you, man. Lamar Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, okay. Devin Weston's car right. stealing team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy. Ah! Any problem? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No trauma. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough nigga, get your ass right. in the truck. Let's go. I would have liked to live like a retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement you euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes, and eats dudes, and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, bummer. But you know, he was a good guy, he made out. 
that dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, uh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am for the most part. What the Michael fucked you? Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIV. Brad? Who, who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the dead. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tired. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. He also loves you, did it's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless. Man, you was a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just truckers are a symbol of this country. And a part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in Hollywood. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Oh, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real sad. Ooh, it's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, but I don't want to reminisce. His wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little no, bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JV700 to get rid of him. Gavin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie. They must have waited till we was out of town. Looks like a dying piece of shit. Fucking cool. Keep it steady for a second. We have been arguing since you picked up the car. Pull off us. Damn, 
so this bug wasn't here before. I thought you said the coast was clear when you boosted it, LeVar. It was! They sneaky motherfuckers! <laughs> Coming up to GOA. Man, the cops was all over us. They slowed us down some. That's not surprising. The insurance companies have been pressurizing them to find you since the studio break in. You knew there'd be heat? Man, you could have told us. Don't get emotional. We're waiting at Procopio Truck Stop. Be here soon. The lawyer chicks up at the Procopio Truck Stop. Procopio! Speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. <laughs> 